Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Deloitte NLA has been announced for 2025 by students and the exam can uh, can happen anytime after 15th of January. So on this particular channel, what we are starting, we are starting the Deloitte NLA preparation series. We all know that there are different different sections in the in NLA exam. So for every section, we will try to make a dedicated video. Okay, so that you can get to know what type of questions that are getting asked in the Deloitte exam. So in this particular video, we will be discussing about the networking and cloud questions. Okay, but in the upcoming videos, different different sections like quantitative English sections and coding section will also be covered on this channel. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because continuously we will be making videos regarding Deloitte preparation. And if you want to suggest any type of video that what type of video you want to see for Deloitte, you can write in the comment section. I will be happy to make it. But make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel so that you get all the future updates of this channel okay now guys before moving ahead make sure to join this telegram group also because it is dedicated for 2025 by students so any company that is hiring or any discussion regarding any company are happening here the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box till now total 11420 students have joined this group so make sure that you join this group as well because lot of discussions every day are happening in this group the link of this group you will find in the description box so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video make sure to hit that like button okay so guys the first question is what is the term for data communication system within a building or a campus so within a building the area is very small so what we prefer is a LAN okay so man and van are greater than that and pan is also greater than that so within a building or in a confined space if you are using any communication system that will be following LAN okay I hope it is clear to you. Next question is which of the following is not a function of a network layer? See if you are talking about like in any company if networking questions are getting asked then OSI model okay all the layers of OSI model and the use case of OSI model is very important for your preparation. Now for every layer you should know that what is its function and what are the devices that are working on this layer. So which of the following is not a function of network layer? So in this particular thing you can uh, do a hit and, trial, hit and trial method. So is congestion control maintained by network layer? Yes. Is error control done by network layer? Answer is no. Is the routing done by network layer? Yes. Inter-networking done by route, uh, network layer? Yes. So you can do a, a hit and trial for every option and you can choose the odd one out. So error control is not a part of network layer. Okay. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is which of the following protocol helps to get network layer address for a host. So the answer here will be DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol. So in the name only it is saying it is a dynamic host configuration. So this helps into network layer address for a host. So DHCP is the correct answer here. Next is match the following cloud services model with their appropriate examples. SAAS that is service as a uh, software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So these are some of the models which we follow in cloud and these are some of the applications that are given. Now we have to check that what is so, uh, this Microsoft 365 where does it stand. So it stands with software as a service. Okay. Next is Magneto Commerce Cloud. So this stands for platform as a service. Okay. Platform as a service. Next is Google Compute Engine. So we all know this is infrastructure as a service. Okay, infrastructure as a service. So one will be mapped with A, two will be mapped with B, and three will be mapped with C. So one A, two B, three C. Yeah, this is the correct option here. I hope it's clear to you. Next question is what is the purpose of the OSI model in the networking? So I have told you OSI model. So why OSI model is used? What is its purpose? So it is just a. It is just define the architecture for the network protocol it's just define that architecture what is the architecture of the protocols if we are like sharing one data among two devices it should follow certain protocols and that that is osi model is a standard way in which all the things are defined okay this is the correct option here it defines the architecture of the network protocol i hope now this is clear to you next question is which OSI model layer is responsible for routing packets between different networks? Okay, different networks, uh, 
which osi model is uh, layer is <coughs> required answer is network layer okay here the routing of packet from one device to one router to other router happens so this is the correct option here again you can try with hit and trial okay for that you should know the use case of each of the network layers okay i hope now it's clear to you now guys what i am thinking is that there are a lot of sections in deloitte nla exam there is english section there is quantitative section and there is a uh, uh, cloud and computer science section also so for every section what i am preparing i am preparing an exam material for Del specifically for deloitte in that every section's previous year questions and answer will be there that particular material will be helpful for you in preparation for your deloitte exam so in a day or two that material i will be releasing on this channel so stay tuned for that for that you should hit that like and subscribe button for this channel okay so i am making i am again repeating i am preparing deloitte nla preparation material that will be helpful for you that will contain previous year questions that will help you in preparing for the exam so stay tuned for that in one or two days i will be releasing that on this channel okay next is what is the purpose of subnetting in ip addresses so what is subnetting so we have one parent ip address we just divide it into several child uh, several child <coughs> ip indexes okay ip addresses so now why we do that okay so we do that to create smaller more manageable network segment because the ip addresses or the network that will be smaller it will be easily manageable so therefore in a big ip address range we create subnets okay we create subnets so this is done so that our network should be smaller and it should be manageable okay i hope it's clear to you next is in computing dash is a network security system that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules so if there, this is a internet let's suppose this is internet okay this this is our servers okay this is our servers now there is a there is a, a component in between that monitors traffic going inside and traffic coming outside okay and there are predetermined security rules placed here so what is that this component so this component is known as firewall so you must have known that firewall is responsible for blocking the content so yeah firewall is here next is which of the following is the deployment model so public hybrid private which of this is the deployment model so if you have done some study of cloud basic only you must be knowing that there are different deployment models in cloud so public model is also there hybrid model is also there and private model is also there it depends on your use case so what should be the answer for it answer is will be all the above okay all the models are present but it is dependent on the on your use case i hope this question is also clear to you so if you are finding this video informative till here make sure to hit that like button okay and also you can write in the comment section that what type of videos you want to see more okay on which section of deloitte or any other company okay you can mention that next question is which of the following cloud concept is related to pooling and sharing of resources okay so we know that in on cloud everything is going on cloud there is like nothing physical on our end but we are moving towards the cloud now what is this concept of pooling and sharing so if you will see the options you might not know the correct answer for it but if you will see the options you will see that okay virtualization is more close to this particular concept so i'm not only telling you the answers here but i'm trying to tell you that how if you do not know an answer how you can find it by just eliminating the not answers okay i hope now this question is also clear to you next is c a s stands for so this is container as a service okay this is container as a service okay we have studied about s sas that is software as a service i a s that is infrastructure as a service then we have studied PAAS that is platform as a service. Now we are seeing CAAS that is container as a service. I hope this is clear to you. Next question is which of the following network devices is used to transmit digital signals over the internet? Okay. Which device is used? We use that in our homes as well. Okay. In our homes as well that is known as modem. Just by looking at the questions you can see that okay modem is the correct answer here. Next question is which of the following type of error occurs in both parallel and serial communication. So parallel means we are like sending the request to multiple servers parallelly. Serialization means okay one by one we are sending the request. Okay both approaches are prone to errors. What type of error can be 
coming in this type of communication so answer is bit error like if you are sending one zero it is possible that it becomes zero one or there is a bit loss if you are sending one zero then it becomes one only there can be as we know in binary form that signals are transmitted so there can be bit errors okay i hope now it is clear to you now the last question of this video will be in tcp ip model which of the following protocols is used on the internet layer tcp ip model is again tcp ip protocol is again a very important protocol now this see this is the answer if you will uh, if you know you know otherwise you cannot find out so answer for correct is arp internet layer arp is used tcp ip model arp is used okay so i hope now this question is also clear to you so please write down in the comment section that did you found this video informative if you want more such videos in future or for which topics you want videos on this channel okay it can relate to any company any section okay i will try to uh, uh, i try to fetch the previous year questions and will try to make these videos and also i have told you that for deloitte i am preparing the exam preparation material in which all the previous year section questions with their answers will be there okay in a day or two i will be releasing that on this channel so stay tuned for that make sure to hit that subscribe button and also do join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students lot of off campus hirings are now going on in future also tcs nqt will also be announced so all those things you will find on this channel okay so this was it for this video thank you for watching this video